Okay. Our project for today is 2002 Suzuki Savage. Hi. Um, I'm going to be putting in a uh, timing chain tensioner. Um, as you know, these ones are prone for that to fail where a little plunger inside slides all the way out and causes all kinds of trouble. I um, ordered this online, not the one that I thought that I was going to get. I thought I was going to get the two-hole one. I don't know what's in this motorcycle. It could have. I know it's had some work done to it before. Um, but I'm going to open it up and see what we've got. Got my uh, case gasket and all the other bits and pieces. This motorcycle actually was silver uh, with all the original Savage badges. Uh, back when it was the LS, um, now it's the S40. But it's actually getting a paint job right now. It's going to be plum crazy purple when it's done. I'm going to try to shine up the bits and pieces that I can. Um, but we're getting ready to pull the pipe off. I've already got that guard off and that guard there off. See that they're scratching on the chrome. I'm getting ready to pull the pipe off and then this side cover will come off. So continue this video here in a minute okay now to get this side cover off you got to get that pipe out of there I don't know if you can see it real well that bolt right there is real tough to get at and you can see it's pretty rusted up even with magical squirrel piss to put on it it doesn't come off so I'm gonna take it off one whole piece and that should make it much easier. Then I can work on that guy a little bit. And you can see the bits and pieces that you can't get into polish. And it really gets bad. You can see how bad that's rusted. How bad that guy's rusted in the whole back side of that pipe. Yeah. So it's almost better to take things completely apart to clean them, put them back together. Every once in a while, though. Now, as you can see, I've got the pipe off. I can get the side cover off as a whole. I'm going to go ahead and take out the oil filter that's behind this cover. Um, and then I'm going to have to disconnect the clutch cable. So you can see with a little clasp that holds it onto the clutch lever, a little tab. you got to bend that tab out to pull that end off, but you have to undo the clutch cable up on my clutch handle before you can do that so that this guy will come off without having anything attached. 